Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I have a few supplies set out to make an artist trading card by stamping on it and then adding a couple of little embellishments. I've had a lot of people ask me about stamping and keeping it relatively simple, not having to color it. So I've got a couple of Tim Holtz stamps out here, and I've got a piece that's going to be part of the artist trading card. An artist trading card is two and a half by three and a half inches in size. So it's not a very big card. It's designed to, or an ATC is designed to be traded with other people. So basically you're making a little work of art. What I've got here is a couple of stamps from Tim Holtz, and I'm going to position these onto the stamp, stamping platform by Tim Holtz. And since I know that I want both of these stamps on this card, I'm going ahead and lining them up where I want them to be stamped. I think that's about right. I may need to go this way. I know I have another stamp that I want to use, but it's a different type of stamp, so I'm not putting all of them on at once. So you position your stamps where you want them on your paper, and then pick them up with the stamp platform. So there that is. And I know that this is going to stamp larger than the area, so I'm just going to put a little piece of paper behind my card, and put a magnet on here. The next thing I'm going to do is use some Brutus Monroe detail ink and I'm going to ink up my image. Now I'm just pressing straight down and kind of walking it across the stamp and then you push straight down. What I like about the platform is if I didn't get a good impression the very first time I can stamp it again. And I want this to be a little bit darker. Let's do one more time. All right, that looks awesome. So I'll just pull this out of the stamp positioner and clean my stamps. I'll use the best cleaner ever. And I've just found if I just put a little squirt on here and then just use my finger to massage it into the stamp. I've got some ink on my positioner. And then I just use a towel to wipe up. So now my stamps are ready to be put away. And I'm just going to set this aside for now. I want to stamp Follow Your Heart on here as well. So I'm just going to figure out where I want this and press that down. So that is on there. And I'm done with the black ink. All right, so then I have, let's see, this is a stamp from Stampers Anonymous. It was something that a friend of mine gave me a long time ago. And I'm going to stamp in Distressed Ink Tea Dye is the color. So I'm just going to ink this up, not really paying attention to how dark it is, because I just want to kiss this to the page and just have a little bit of a background. And it may be hard to see. I'll try to show that to you. So next, what I'm gonna do is, if you know what a thread cutter is, it's another tool that you can use for distressing. They sell distressing tools, but I've had this tool for a really long time, and it's just designed to cut thread. But what I found is if I take this and just kind of rub it on the edges of my cards, it roughs it up just a little bit. See how that's kind of roughing up that edge, kind of giving it a little bit of distressed look. So I have a little food tray here in a blending tool from Ranger Ink. And then I have some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in Red Chilies. So I'm just gonna shake this up really quick like and spray this a couple of times. Then I'm going to use the blending tool and I'm going to go right around the edge of my card and that's going to add a nice pretty red to it. 
So I just went all the way around and as you can see it gives it a really nice dark edge to it. I have some little paper flowers here and I think I want to put one on my artist trading card. So let me see if it's just one that I want. I think I just want to do one. And so I want it to be red and I'm going to take some of the tattered angels and just spray that on here and that's going to turn it red. Now if I want, I want to, I don't want to get my fingers all dirty. I can go in here and pick up some more of this tattered angels. I'm going to take my heat tool and dry the flower just a little bit. So my card topper is two and a quarter by three and a quarter and then my card base is two and a half by three and a half. So I'm going to use some Vintage Photo Distress Ink, and this is just some craft piece of cardstock from Canvas Court Brands. And I'm going to go around the edges, just adding a little bit of this dark brown to it. Well, I've added a little bit of color here, so now I'm going to take The Best Glue Ever by Scrap Perfect. I'm going to put just a little bead on the back side of the topper that's going on my card and a little zigzag down the middle and then we're going to place that in the center of our card here. I've got a little bit of some eyelash yarn and I just thought it would be kind of cute to have a little bit under this flower so I'm going to cut a little snippet. I'm going to put a dollop of glue down Kind of spread it around because what I want to do is snake this back on top of itself. Ah, it's stuck to my finger. And I have to put a little dollop of glue on top of the thread or fibers. And now I'm just going to press my little flower down. And there's my little artist trading card that I made really quickly. It didn't take very long to make this. Uh, probably right at 10 minutes at the most and that was after I had my papers cut and ready to go and what I like about using this stamp positioner is that I can stamp more of these over and over and over and be able to be consistent if I so choose and make them all different colors so that's something I want you to realize that you know I used one tattered angels and changed those to red but you could go in and change those to teal and purple and green whatever color that suits your fancy and you have a different look on the same card well I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up share it with your share it with your friends and comment below what kind of little things do you like to see on cards do you like the nature birds and animals do you prefer people do you just prefer designs like mixed media art share what you you like down below and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please subscribe if you have any questions please feel free to ask check out the description box for links to the products that i use that are still available on the market for example like the detail ink and the scrap perfect best cleaner ever as well as the best clue ever all right thanks so much everybody i greatly appreciate you watching have a fabulous day bye